Throughout my entire life, I have always viewed running as a punishment, something that I was forced to do in gym class, a punishment in sports. But one day, what if I decided to run, not because I had to, but rather because my body was still able to? Because make no mistake about it, one day, my body won't be able to. But today is not that day. What if I dedicated just 10 minutes to running every day? What would happen? Today, we find out. So this experiment started around eight weeks ago for me. Before this, I'd kind of fallen off a cliff, so to speak, as you could see from my last video, which was out a while ago. That's right, I'd lost all motivation and I just stopped working out completely. But after watching my wife run a few races and seeing how much she enjoyed it, I had to admit, I was inspired. I decided I wanted to give it a try and I gave myself the modest goal of running for just 10 minutes a day. The distance wasn't important. The main goal was just to improve my overall health and indeed it did. So here's how my body changed by running just 10 minutes a day. I tend to struggle with my blood pressure and if I don't watch it, it moves up into the hypertension zone. So before I started running, my blood pressure was 137 over 89. But today I'm happy to report that it was 108 over 79. So that alone was a huge improvement. In keeping with heart health, before I started running, my resting heart rate was 63 beats per minute. And after running eight weeks, my resting heart rate had dropped to 51 beats per minute. Another huge improvement. So just for reference, when I'm running, my heart rate usually hovers between 170 to 190 beats per minute. So one year ago, I got COVID extremely bad and I was down for 20 days. And during this time, my lung capacity was greatly diminished. When I started running, my VO2 max score was 35, but it has now risen to 38. I still have a lot of work to do in this area, but it's promising to see that improvement. So now on to some blood tests. Something that I found incredibly interesting is how much my testosterone level had improved. So before this, my overall testosterone level was 822 nanograms per deciliter but it improved to 908 nanograms per deciliter. This is the highest my testosterone level has ever been in the three years that I've been monitoring. When it came to weight loss, without changing my diet, I went from 195 pounds to 191 pounds. Not a huge difference, but I'll take it. Now, most of the time I run at a slow pace, around a 10 minute mile. I have challenged myself though on how fast I can run a mile. When I started, I was able to run a mile in eight minutes and two seconds. I can now run a mile in six minutes and 45 seconds. So has running for eight weeks changed how I feel about it? My wife told me a quote when I started. It was running never gets easier. It just gets faster. And truth be told, every day when I start out, I hate it each time. But by the time I finish, I'm glad I've pushed myself. I'm healthier today than I was eight weeks ago. That's obvious. So, I keep running. 